Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and iOS 16.2 RC version has been released. Now this is the final version before iOS 16.2 gets out to the public. So in this video, we're going to take a look at this update and see what's new, what to expect in the near future and everything else you need to know regarding iOS 16.2. All right, first of all, let's talk about the size of the update. Now the RC version will come to your device at around five gigs. That is of course a big update. This is the final version of the betas of iOS 16.2. And this is basically the same version as people will get when it gets out to the public. So it should be at around five gigs. Of course, that will always be different on different devices. Now when talking about updating to the RC version, if you're on beta or a public beta, you need to know that if you update to the RC version, then you won't get the public update because this will be the exact same update as the public update of iOS 16.2. So you will no longer get that update on your device. Once you have the RC version on your device, that means that you have the final version. Now, if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to install the RC version, but you want to install the public release, then what you need to do is head on to your settings, of course, before trying to install the RC version, head on to your settings, go to general, and then go to VPN and device management, and make sure you remove the beta profile from here. That way you don't install the RC version on your device, but you will get the public release of iOS 16.2 when it comes out. Now, of course, this being the last release of iOS 16.2 betas, of course, it won't have any big new features or changes. This is just a polished version that will get released, of course, that got released to the devs before it gets out to the public. But let's take a look and remind you guys at some of the biggest new features that are coming to iOS 16.2. First of all, we will get a total new app called Freeform. Now, this app allows to basically do different drawings maybe designs brainstorming and things like that and also share col collaborate with other people very very easily now this is a really cool app very useful it has a bunch of tools here allowing you to in just insert like different photos maybe add like different text add different shapes and add sticky notes as well so a very very useful app you'll probably find yourself using this a lot this will be a new app that is coming with ios 16.2 there are some changes on the lock screen as well. Now with iOS 16.2, we get a few new widgets. Let's go to customize here and let's go to the widgets. First of all, we will have here a widget for health. So if you go to health, you will have two different widgets. You will have the smaller one and the bigger one, of course, for your medications. You will have the sleep widgets as well. So you will have the sleep data and schedule right there. You will have the sleep here. And of course, also on the bigger and the smaller widget as well. And we have another addition here to the stocks widget. So if you go to the stocks widget, you will have these that are old, but this one is new. So you will get a symbol with the chart as well. Of course, once you have added this to your lock screen, you can always tap on it and choose whatever you want to see on the chart. Now here is a great new feature that iOS 16.2 will bring to your device and that on the weather app. So when you go to your weather app and you go to the hourly forecast, now you can actually swipe like this and you can see on exact minutes the weather forecast here now it used to be just hours now you can see right there you can exactly move at any hour and minute that you want and of course from here you can tap that little button and you can go ahead and change to other things like maybe pressure or wind or the uv index whatever you want and then again of course you will have the hourly and up to the minutes chart right here just go ahead and slide and you will get the exact time that you want now if you have one of the newer devices the iphone 14 pro and the 14 pro max the devices that support the always on display ios 16.2 will bring a very great new feature to ios so basically you go to settings go to display and brightness you will have here the always on display now you can choose whether you want to show the wallpaper or not on the always on display as you know on the always on display on iOS 16 on the iPhone 14 Pro series you will get that background with the wallpaper that you have but if you disable it now you will actually get just like a dark screen here you no longer get the wallpaper in the background so this is basically a true always on display now that is coming with iOS 16.2 there have been changes to live activities as well 
So if you go to one of the TV apps you might have on your device and you go under live activities, you will have now a new option for more frequent updates. This will allow the app to give you more frequent updates on the lock screen of your device. Now this of course will be very useful if you're using it maybe to just follow a game or anything like a sport event or something like that. It will keep you basically updated by the minute. And then of course it shows here that it actually does have an effect on the battery life of your device so you will have to just decide whether you want to sacrifice the battery or not and have this feature enabled. Now here is another great new feature that Apple has added to Siri with iOS 16.2. Head on to settings, Siri and search, and here we'll have Siri responses. Now you can now choose prefer silent responses. Now if you select that, Siri will respond silently, except when, you're, uh, you, when you appear to be driving or using headphones with the screen off. Otherwise, Siri will give you silent responses. Previously, we didn't have this option. We just had prefer spoken responses. Now you can choose prefer silent responses and it's a great option. Now for the first time on iOS, iOS 16.2 will also bring security response updates. Now basically these are updates, smaller updates that Apple will release instead of just updating iOS. They will just release these security updates to basically fix any security issues, bugs and things like that. Now if you go to settings general, you will have software update right here. Make sure you have automatic updates enabled and you can have here security responses and system files enabled and then you will get that automatically. As you probably know, on iOS you can hide your IP address from trackers, of course when browsing through Safari and email as well. Now with iOS 16.2 you will have an option within Safari to turn off hide IP address on certain websites. So if you go to a website where you want to just show your IP address or you basically trust that website, you can now just tap the AA button and go ahead and turn off hide IP address and that will be turned off for that website. There have been also a few different actions that have been added to the shortcuts app with iOS 16.2. Now you can finally switch between wallpapers, get wallpapers and set wallpapers. You will have those new actions on the shortcuts app on iOS 16.2. So if we just go ahead and search here for let's say lock screen. Here we will have the option to switch between wallpapers. If we want to tap on wallpapers and you can pick the different wallpapers that you have on your device and you can switch to that wallpaper using that shortcut. Again, we have a few different options to now set different wallpapers, get wallpapers and also switch between different wallpapers. And now let's move on and talk about performance. Now performance is quite stable with iOS 16.2. It has been quite good since beta one. And here we have the latest Geekbench score. So we have 1866 right there on the single core score. While the latest one on iOS 16.1 was 1886. So pretty much the same there. But when we move on to the multi-core score, you can see we have 5,444 on the multi-core score here while we had 5346 so almost 100 points there that it has improved since i was 16.1 so again a pretty nice pretty stable performance on ios 16.2 and now let's talk about something really important, battery life. Now, of course, the RC version has just been released, so we cannot talk about that. We can just talk about the battery life in general on iOS 16.2 since it has started with beta 1. It actually has been quite good. I've been getting some really consistent battery lifetime. So you can see right here, it's pretty much very consistent here. You can see the few days here, we had a lot of great battery lives and you can see right here we have like 80% 9 hours and 18 minutes on screen so that's really really good. So of course based on whatever you have been doing whether you have been using Wi-Fi or cellular some days it will be better some days it will be worse but again a pretty solid battery life with iOS 16.2. And last but not least, when will iOS 16.2 finally get released to the public? So I'm expecting this update to come early next week. It will most likely be Monday, December 12th, 
or Tuesday, December 13th. These are the two dates when I expect Apple to release iOS 16.2 to the public. And of course, you can go ahead and then update your device. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more iOS 16.2 videos. And I'll see you on the next one.